So this is one of them runs that we're going to go ham on. I'm gonna show you guys how to how to do it with the ultimate. Uh, with the uh, oh my god! So so no one has not rampart to me yet. I'm gonna show you guys carrying with the ultimate potential all buffs, and then. I'm going to explain the normal way so I'm not going to use smelly mushroom and I might not use berserk mushroom either but for these because these things have so much health I'm going to need berserk mushrooms at least but maybe not smelly mushrooms because as you can see these things these things can have up to almost 1 million HP if they're berserk they are very 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 tanky and I also don't have Rampart 2. So I start out by having around 15k HP and around 14k ward. So, and you know that by default you have 25% ward absorption in the beginning. I want 50% ward absorption. So to achieve that, we use Rampart 2. Rampart 3 is going to give you 75% which is useless and you're not going to be using the skill yourself because I believe that would be Ward of Iron, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but you're not going to be wasting your turn to do any type of warding when you have three other persons in there who can do that. So if you are the one hosting, you are going to want to have your person give you Rampart the first turn because if you die the run ends if they die they can be revived so that's the thinking behind getting rampart on the first wave on the first yes on the first floor of the first wave uh, what do I mean on the first turn yes that's what I mean so with Rampart 2, as I said, it's really safe. I'm hoping I won't die, but I'm hoping something will hit me. So I'll show you guys the difference because losing 75% of my health and 25% of my ward makes it so risky. It's a lot more likely that I'll die. But if I can just keep... If I can just keep a bit of my HP and a bit of my ward, it's just better overall for the run damn i haven't gotten a dual cast once in this whole run that's so sad but as you can see with a dual cast i can easily do above 1 million damage but it's just so rare now i'm going to buff normally except i'll add a berserk mushroom to the the fray because obviously i'm going to need the extra damage um, I, sh I maybe Cuddly is putting in um, Rampart 2, I should have said. Rampart 2, 2 motherfuckers, bumbo clot. Pretty bitch one, what way did I do? Mm. I swapped some stuff, okay. Someone swapped some stuff. Alright. These are all my kingdom members except Anil, but he's really cool and he's been in the in my server for a while, so another cool person. Alright then. So this is why I need cleanse too. Because I don't want to you see you see you guys see how many turns I'm wasting buffing, meaning I'm giving them extra turns too. And what you want to do is eliminate the turns of others to go as fast as possible. So I go Berserk Mushroom second because usually I won't have the double defense down. And the Berserk Mushroom will give me a bit of tankiness so that I can continue buffing. I won't be getting any damage from any Berserk until my final turn in this wave. Or I guess it's not my final turn technically. But um, it will be my second to last turn if they don't kill this thing. And then someone should have um, cleansed me by now. But this is why I need to do the support video. 
because I, I kind of get that people don't really understand the usefulness of the... I'll just fucking use a panacea because I, I can't wait another turn to be cleansed. At least I have Rampart 2 this time. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to get upset at that. But usually that would kind of annoy me because that's the point of the Inquisitor. So that I don't have to use an extra turn. But I'm in a good mood today, so it's not that important because... I'm not trying to go fast, I'm trying to explain it, so. And guys, just rewatch the video of me buffing. As I said, I'll use Mimic's Mischief first, then I'll use a Magic Tonic second because I need the 100% chance to get the magic up. Wyvern speed 1 is a 90% chance and Wyvern speed 2 is even less than that. And as I said, I don't want to be wasting turns doing shit that isn't a 100% chance. So that's why I just use the magic tonic because as you can see, I have a few of them and I think most persons would have a bit of them. So... That's pretty much it. Mimics Mischief, Magic Tonic, and then Gate of Snatra. And those are the three buffs that you pretty much need that you'll be doing anyway. And then you're going to have the Berserk 1 buff from your staff. And some persons who use the Arisen Fae Mecha Pillar can get the Magic 1 up the single magic up from that staff over time just like the berserk buff from the staff of the chimera but i like this because i like requiem 3 i like requiem 3 so much like it's so strong like it's is it has high penetration too so some things that a skill like Twin Blast would would pretty much hit zero on or hit a little bit on. Requiem 3 is going to hit a lot on them. Fast. Yeah. Alright. And pretty much you just, you just spam click Mage's Dance. But um, this is not a good example because I'm, I'm doing no damage. I'm doing absolutely nothing like a fucking pleb. Uh, if I can't even kill these freaking freaks, I'm logging out. Alright, too. And I think this will be the entirety of the video, just this wave. I gave you guys a good example of maximum output. And then this is pretty much another run. And this is the correct way to do it, in my opinion. So you have someone who is cleansing you. You have someone who is ramparting you. You don't have to do those things. And you will just go faster in general. And as I keep saying... The speed you go through these dungeons with is very important if you're trying to be a top player because you're going to be doing hundreds if not thousands of these dungeons. So if you do 100 dungeons in 5 minutes, if you can move that down to fucking 4 minutes, you have 100 extra minutes. It doesn't sound like a lot now, but over time, I'm telling you, you're going to appreciate having your time. You don't want to spend all your time here playing Orna. As fun as it is. Damn, these things have no buffs on. And these things are so strong. And I'm actually not even sure. Um, actually, I think the best thing would be to use Requiem. I hoped it crit, but it didn't. If I had on my DC, it would have been enough to kill him. It wasn't. Very sad. Very sad. But that's not a problem. I should be able to mage just dance these two now. And then I'll have four more waves. And that is about um, 
500 and something mana needed. No, actually 600 and something. Would it be? No, it would be 500 and... Um, like 540? That's just a guess. Sometimes when I'm, I want to do math in my head, I just don't. And I just guess. <laughs> but, um, yes. I hit when the fucking thing dual casts on some shit waves. Oh, dare. I do need more mana. Scuffs. But that's why I don't like using transference. I was trying to use it earlier to reduce my mana. But it seems every time I do that... There is a wave that requires more mana. It's pretty sad. All I see, RIP. Oh, sometimes I kind of want to speak in Jamaican for you guys, but then I'll have to be repeating myself, so I just don't. That one took eight minutes. They usually take five minutes. I'll have to rewatch that and see what type of cancer or other impairment was causing us to take that long. But, um, yes, it wasn't the worst. And I hope I explained something there. I'll show you guys my gear one last time. You can take a picture on here. And I think I've already explained why I use these things foresight a lot of adornment slots for my pinions and a bit of ward not that useful but not bad magic stat and the ability for you to it pretty much doubles the cost of it doubles the cost of spells and you need to be draining your spells quickly draining your mana quickly so that you can be doing more damage because the iconoclast passive that heretics have gives you strength as your mana is reduced so that is the the key part about the heretics robe the heretics robe is probably one of the most the heretics robe and the staff of the chimera are the two most important pieces in my opinion along with the lugos gauntlet but those are um accessories and you need two of those for most things that you want to go through fast anyway. So the boots, it gives the single magic up. And that is event locked behind the dragon roost event. So I don't really like telling people about it because they won't be able to have it just yet. Another good boot would be the ones available right now. The sky fallen shoes. They give a bit of magic. The ward is irrelevant, but they give a little bit of ward. Just the magic, the additional magic they give is great. I'm not sure how many adornment slots they have. My current boots have a ton of adornment slots. So I would want something similar if not those boots. But my boots are the best boots for this. Because the magic up one, that's like 20 or 25% damage boost. I'm not sure which one, but it is a damage boost. Yeah. He is a prey. Only real. I know. Eh, 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 eh. Yo, if y'all saw me dancing right now, you'd be like, damn, this motherfucker cool. <laughs> Just kidding, maybe not. <laughs> oh god, I'm about to get copyright stro <laughs> struck for this but this is someone i actually know in real life lols so i'll ask them to clear it fingers crossed <laughs> i'm just kidding they'll clear it but i think maybe the other songs too i don't even know man i don't even fucking know anymore about this shit Oh, 
<laughs> when we get to Badass, I'm gonna play his other good song. I think maybe, well, I doubt any of you guys would know it, but it's getting pretty popular around the world right now. But I guess that would be in dancehall spaces regardless, isn't it? I know. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh shit, actually. So this next song, okay, wait. Am I gonna play it? Let me look for it. Big Butty Girl. Yeah. Dog, have a little flow, man. Dog, have a little flow. I'm going to buck cloud. This has seen here at Stop Progress. All right. I'm going to play another song. Maybe you guys know this song, but maybe not. But maybe you guys know the artist Skilly Bang. Still, maybe not. Maybe, probably more dancehall spaces, but this one is a collab with Skilly Bang and some African artists. And Jamaica is not in Africa for those who think that. Dangerous beat. Bless me. Baby, why you bless me? Baby, why you tempting me? So in these, I recommend having a secondary damage dealer because most persons, as you can see, will just not be able to spank all of these waves immediately. What the fuck is happening here? I'm, I'm trying to understand what's happening right now. Not in the game, in my search thing. I'm trying to go on YouTube, but this goofy ass shit is saying this is this. What the fuck is happening? Unusual traffic from my computer. I'm um, okay then, I guess. Alright, let me pause this for a sec. Alright. Um, right. I think I explained everything, did I? I don't even know. I think I got distracted by the music. <laughs> but if this needs another video, guys, just be like, Rashidi, that last video was total ash. And then I'll be like, alright then. I think someone is frozen actually. Yeah, damn. Oh shit, I'm not the one to restart XD. <laughs> I bet I'm still out. Oh my god. I fucking restarted thinking I was the host XD. But let's go back into my gear, guys, because this will be the last. So I've explained these. You guys understand these. And this is just a sequencing amity, meaning it doubles. It, it makes the spell cast twice. As I said, this is your offhand for the skill Requiem 3. And you all know what this is for. Don't get in the peas, I'm a dog, I'm 